Hi everyone, welcome back to Rich Reviews and you join us on our third day today of our Euro driving trip. Look at this bloody backdrop. Just look at this, this is where we stayed overnight. And the waterfall, just incredible. Absolutely incredible locations, just so sad that we only stayed here one night because we've got to move on now. Now we're going on now to a place called Chirvana and it's near Lake Como. But obviously we're picking up some fantastic driving routes on the way. So you join us later on as we drive out on the Grimsel and Furka passes later on today. Look at this for you guys, we're just descending down from the Hotel Geisbach, Lake Bresenzi. Look at this, incredible. You look at scenes like this and you think, how can this not change your oh, wow, life? If you're thinking of coming to this area, guy, to Lake Bresenzi, then stay at the Hotel Geisbach. Yeah, it's not cheap. Just bloody pay it. It's worth it. <laughs> up yet again the intricacies of filling up the car when you're abroad eh there's loads of different types of fuel percentages of ethanol and and unleaded so you have to make sure you try and get at least 95 in the car but we're averaging around 98 um, so sometimes 95 sometimes e10 so you've got 10 percent of ethanol so um, but in general the fuel is really good over here so yeah it's just taking a lot of it because we're burning a lot of it off Incredible roads. Just pulling over again on the right hand side. We're pulling off onto a bridge here by the look of it.
guys, we're at the top of Grimsall Pass. Look at it. You've got like a partly frozen lake here at the top at the top of the pass. The usual ubiquitous coffee place, hotel. Probably absolutely murdered the terminology there. Some really cool cars here. We've got a GT2 over there, obviously our GT3. So yeah, we've reached the top of the pass and this is what you get. This is the reward you get for reaching some of these passes at the top. Absolutely awesome. Just driven up this pass. This is Furka Pass. That's the roads we've just driven up, guys. Take a look at that. We're in t-shirts, snow all around us. That is just bloody incredible, and more to come. mode and manual mode depending on which sections you're on 
and letting the car cool down when you, when you, when you can and also when we're stopping for coffees etc in villages letting, lifting up the engine cover to let the engine cool down a bit more as well because we're in 30 degrees temperature here 25 30 degrees temperature so it's quite warm as it is also I'm, I'm, I should say as well I'm keeping an eye on the tyre temperatures and we're hitting you know we're finding that the, the tyres are sticking really well from about 48 to 60 degrees um, and well I mean we haven't hit anything higher than about 62 degrees on the tyre on the front tyre temperatures so when you get more temperature into the tyres is always good especially into the steering tyres and the steering wheels so that's pretty much it guys that's for what it's worth that's how I'm driving the car over here and needless to say the 458 is performing fantastically well it's almost like the perfect car for this roof down got all the power you could possibly need the gear changes on the dual clutch are well fast enough especially if you're in race mode it's just an awesome car and it's brilliant for this road trip so all good so far fantastic driving and fantastic car and fantastic colleagues that we're with so yeah it's all good and we'll give you an update later on um, with regards to how the car is going and if we know of any issues with it with the other guys cars but they're all ferraris apart from one gt3 porsche and gt3 porsches are bulletproof anyway so hopefully all will be good no issues so far to a parking area here just to take a break and a gentleman here has just shown us this stunning brand new ruf so it's a 993 base rough um just look what you get to see on the side of the road incredible in this enclosed trailer so somebody's taken <laughs> taken possession of this beautiful brand new rebuilt or restored 993 into a rough concept so we're now driving san bernardino pass so we're just coming up towards the top and you can see there's snow again and it's definitely getting chillier this is very aggressive these turns it's a very narrow road we're chasing the Jala Modna 458 Spider in front of us we're just coming to the peak of it now look across look at that view across San Bernardino so it's quite a quick quite a quick pass very narrow loads of concrete on the sides the last thing you want to do is slide sideways into one of those concrete pillars This is the Splugen Pass that we're on now. Now we've slowed down a bit because we're caught in traffic, which is a bizarre thing to say on such narrow roads and, and very rare pass. We can now uh, talk, talk a bit, we can take our breath and talk a little bit. These switchbacks are super aggressive. Either way, you're gonna be on the other side of the road. With the lock of the 458, which isn't bad, but it isn't great, it isn't anywhere near as good as a GT3, for example, because you've got the rear wheel still on the GT3 991.1. You get, when you come up to the switchback, it's so aggressive, and of course it's going up, you're turning right on the knuckle of the joint and then swinging out. You've got to be so careful, it's such a tight turn as well, and you can't punch the throttle too early because you'll flick out and just have to look down the side here. I mean, this is not so high here, but it's a sheer drop. It's been a sheer drop. So you've got to be so careful. We're coming to the top of this pass now, but super aggressive, great fun. But uh, you've got to keep your wits about you. It's really aggressive driving. But uh, awesome roads, absolutely incredible. And the scenery of it's just outstanding. We just come into the peak here. Right. 
So guys, we're now descending the Splugen Pass and the Porsche's feeling a bit out of it because we've now gained a few horsepower now that we're in Italy. Definitely starting to get better looks now that we're over in Italy. Not that we had any bad looks, but I believe that they really cheer you on with these with Ferraris. So I don't know how they'll welcome the GT3. I'm sure they love GT3s as well. So I'm just taking a bit of the mick out of it. But that GT3 is bloody awesome. And it's done exceptionally well. Coming up this pass, it was right up my backside because I, I couldn't turn sharp enough. The GT3's got rear wheel steering. Oh, that bike was on it. He had places to go. Look at these passes. Look at these switchbacks. How sharp you've got to turn. And I'm almost in the gutter and I'm just about not hitting the sides. Splugen Pass. Done. Another one done. Another one ticked off. Another awesome pass. And the cars just get better and better. After we drove the Splugen Pass yesterday, we closed out by, by crossing the border into Italy at the end of the Splugen Pass. We then came across into Chiavenna. So we're in Chiavenna now, which is where we're parked up at the Hotel Conradi. So we've got our cars parked up here, just show you the sort of parking spaces that we've got. That, just gonna show you the sort of parking spaces we've got to deal with in Italy at these hotels. I mean, they love the cars, of course, but we've got our GT3, GT3 parked here, really tight in against the railings. We've got our 458 Spider, really tight against the railings as well, and it's quite a heavy slope here as well. We've got the 488 Pista on the right hand side here, squeezed in. And we've got another 458 Spider, the Jella Modern 458 Spider here, really squeezed into the side as well. And the 812 GTS had to get down this slope. Imagine what a nightmare that was. Thankfully, he had lift, but the real problem was the rear diffuser that was the biggest problem to get that over this this curve part as he get, as he went down but we but we managed it and the 812 is parked down the bottom in the in the garage so we'll have to get him out in a few minutes as well that would be quite interesting so if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up give it a like loads more great content to come if you're not subscribed please think about subscribing and click that notification bell so that you'll receive notifications for all our future videos coming on this trip and there's going to be loads more thanks a lot for watching and we'll catch you in the next video